tell you something about this uh, vaccine thing, though. Yeah, I know we're getting tired of it, though, but let me tell you, I find out, though. I find out what I'm seeing, though, what stores uh, are doing, though, to get people to get to, to get their vaccines, though. The Walgreens and Schnucks here in this area, in this general area, though, what they're doing, though, that uh, if, if you've been fully vaccinated, guess what? You get to go into the store without a mask. That's right. Walgreens is rewarding people to, 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 go, to, to go into the store with their, without their mask, without their masks on. And the same with Starbucks. People like to go get coffee. What they've done, that they've uh, they have scrapped it. They're, they're trying to scrap the, their uh, indoor dining ban. They want to do what they want to do. They want to reopen indoor di indoor dining at all their places, though, because I think this is what they're doing. That though, for like if if we uh, for vaccinated, we even even get to go to, to even get to. Go to Starbucks if it, without a mask, though, and uh, and we even get to have the coffee inside if it, the coffee shop without a mask. Now, how's that, though? And take a look at what I got on. Midwest elevators. <laughs> I tell you that. Yep. So what is now the like, is not the government uh, really telling people that they have to get vaccinated, though, but what is the sector finding ways to, to help to get people to get vaccinated for COVID. Let me tell you what, what is the, the, the actual truth behind the uh, vaccines. So, I know one company, which is Pfizer. I was back in the days and I was still working at the hospital. They, they, would, uh, they, used, to, they used to come for job clubs and it's one of the very few big pharma corporations that stands up for people with disabilities. Not very many that, that, that will uh, even hire people with disabilities. But, but, far, but I'm su surprised I found out that I think far, uh, Pfizer does. They care about people with disabilities. And what they did, when what they did, that they heard about the, the virus, yeah, they too were in shock as well, about everybody else. And they wanted to do something to, 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 to put an end to COVID-19. So they looked, at, and I think they looked at this thing, and of course, I'm not sure if it's been this from experience went up to space, so I think it might have, might, some of it might have gone up to space or something, though, for somebody to take a look at it, help. And, it, and what it, it was look, examined, though, what the, what the virus could do and stuff, though. And then they want to come up with some, some ways to, 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 to kill the virus. So that way, Get, start getting back to normal. Then when more and more and more places get, uh, when we, more of us get uh, fully vaccinated, this it, we all get brought back to the, we get brought back to, to the normal we were so used to before this uh, thing ever hit.
I mean, what it does, so even though even though with the Pfizer, it's a two dose thing, though, and what it is, it's really setting up almost in a way like real wood is. It's really just a shield in, inside us. It's, that's guarding it, every part we got inside us, all to, to making sure that we are safe. So that way, like it, like for me, at the age sixty, though, I, if I hadn't got the vaccine, I would stand up. We stand per, at a per, problematic my chances of dying because, because of COVID was might have been to more like 60%. So, so I got the vaccine I, and, it, and I've been fully vaccinated. Now I can go into Walgreens and I, you know, to get something though, I don't even have to worry about wearing a mask. I don't have to worry about wearing the mask at the grocery store. Because I think it, well, at Schnucks, I don't talk about wearing the mask, because now Schnucks has gone to max fit it, it, the mask free for when it comes to fully vaccinated people. Starbucks has gone fully vaccinated. And we know a lot of us like Starbucks, so if we go get the coffee. Instead of the government saying, but you got to get vaccinated, though. But what else is that? That it could be maybe you know, maybe they could be hiring people, hiring these corporations to find ways to lure people into getting the vaccine. We know that, of course, losing a loved one, but because of the. Uh, the virus, so of course losing a loved one for, for sure is, is never easy. Seeing what the vaccine does, though, it just uh, it gives it gives our loved one an extra boost at life, though. So, like in case they did take did take your tumble, like I say, you know, like like if they're at the grocery store or something, though, and all of a sudden. Uh, and your nose tapped to something though that uh, maybe that might be uh, might have a COVID droplet or two on the floor though. All that medicine inside them is going to have garden though, and then of course, and if they do get the virus, so the virus of course won't be as severe as it would be if they hadn't received the vaccine at all. So we have to realize what it uh, what, what this uh, vaccine is doing, though, for, for all of us. So, the, and more of us get fully vaccinated, the more the chances are very good. We're going to be able to open up the entire country, including its major cities, and a lot of other countries, like like I say, like for like for like. Uh, Sweden or uh, the UK or something like that and let them come over here as well. Yeah, a, what they seen what it is if we get really what it is if we all get vo fully vaccinated, it's gonna that's gonna help the that'll even help the boost to tourism. Because then people like for for Kirkwood they wanna they wanna come to Kirkwood. They want to see, look at all the mom and pop shops, go and take a stroll on the, the on the little tra on the trails in Kirkwood Park, though, and stuff like that, and and uh, even get and walk that thing mask free, and, and be able to you know, see you know, do a little window shopping at the mom and pop shops in downtown Kirkwood, or maybe to say or even go to Spencer's Grill for lunch. Or they want to just go there for uh, for for morning breakfast or just for some coffee. And of course, and that, and there's even a new restaurant. I'm sure a lot of people want to uh, visit, which is Pioneer Bakery, which is just just uh, 
just about to about 10 minute to walking distance to, from from our favorite place 325 North Kirkwood Road 10 minutes walking distance from there though so just think though I tell you what if you all want to see uh, the entire country fully open Hey, click that like button if you want to see America be fully open. I sure would. I want America to be fully open. I'm tired of seeing our restaurants be slack with the having to keep the indoor dining closed. I want them to reopen all the, I want all restaurants, including all the McDonald's, to reopen all their, uh, to reopen indoor dining right now. So please, yeah, yeah. You gotta realize, so, getting vaccines, getting a vaccine, what to do, It'll cause all the little places to reopen. And if they are open, like for the restaurants, they haven't opened up the indoor dining yet, though. It'll do it. <laughs>